What's up guys, Trail here, better known as Budget Bill, and this is your third pandemic EBT 2.0 program and March 2021 SNAP Food Stamp Benefits update for Thursday, February the 25th. Hey guys, we finally have some new states being approved for the March emergency allotments, and we are going to be sharing those with you today. We also have a few more states still being approved for February, but I have some concerns. There are still two states remaining that we haven't seen any approvals for February. February and we are three days away from March. My fear is that these two states are going to be no longer participating in this program. So I want to get y'all's feedback on that. We also have some new food stamp requirements that may affect thousands of people of food stamp recipients. And then we have one state that is now allowing children to receive $110 per month as part of the pandemic EBT program. And last but not least, we also have some new census data out regarding uh, the amount of people that have to go without enough food. Now, those are just some of the topics that we are going to cover today. If this is your first time to the channel, hey, welcome and glad to have you. On this channel, we talk about finance, real estate, credit cards, and stimulus update news. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can be a part of the community. Also, don't forget to hit the like button for me if you enjoy this type of content. It doesn't cost you a single dime for me to bring this information to you. And all I ask is for a simple press of the like button button and it really helps out the channel. Now let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay guys, let's not beat around the bush today because we have a lot of information to cover today on this video. Let's start off with the states that were approved for the emergency allotments for the month of March. So far we have California and their payout date is going to be on April the 18th. We have DC is going to be on March the 10th and April the 3rd. We have Hawaii is going to be on April the 12th. New Jersey is going to be on March the 1st through the 5th and Wisconsin is going to be on March the 20th. And that's all we have so far for March. We only have five states that have been approved for the maximum allotments in March. Now let's go ahead and talk about the latest approvals for February emergency allotments. Most people have have already received the benefits so I am only going to address the ones that are still pending or either on their way and just to be clear these are for the February payout dates we just received approval for Massachusetts their payout date is going to be on March the 2nd Minnesota is in the manual process and their payout dates are going to be on March the 8th through the 11th the 15th through the 18th and the 22nd through the 25th and the 29th through the 31st and then we have New Jersey which was just approved but their payout dates has already passed, but you should have already received those benefits in between the time of February the 1st through the 5th. And then we have the ones that were already approved, but they are still paying out right now. Alaska is on March the 1st through the 10th. Arkansas is going to be on February the 20th and the 25th. California is on March the 7th. D.C. is on February the 27th and March the 6th. For Georgia is going to be on each day between February the 24th through the 27th. Hawaii is going to be on March the 8th. Idaho, March the 11th through the 15th. Iowa, March the 1st through the 10th. Kansas, March the 15th through the 24th. Louisiana is going to be on February the 25th and March the Fourth, Nebraska is going to be on March the 8th through the 9th. New York is still going to be on February the 22nd through the 25th. North Carolina is going to be on February the 25th and March the 1st through the 3rd. South Dakota is going to be on March the 24th and Utah is going to be on February the 28th. Vermont on March the 15th and West Virginia on February the 4th and the final run is going to be on March the 9th. Now, we still haven't received or heard anything for the approvals for Nevada and Pennsylvania for February, which is very concerning to me as we only have three more days left in February. Are these states no longer going to participate in the program? Are they having difficulties being approved for the emergency allotments or, or what is going on? Do any of you have any information or regards to these particular states receiving the February allotments in Nevada or Pennsylvania? If so, please let me know in the comment section because we should have heard from them by now and we should have already been hearing about their approvals for March as well. So if you know something, let the community know down below in the comment section. I would appreciate it. Now regarding the pandemic EBT program for the 2020 through 2021 school year, we still only have about 18 states that have already received their approval. I haven't seen any additional states being approved in the last week, but I will go over them once again for you just in case you missed the last video. 
video. So far we have Alaska, Delaware, Illinois, Indiana, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, New Mexico, North Carolina, Ohio, Puerto Rico, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Tennessee, Vermont, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. Now I will keep you guys posted if we receive some new approvals for the PEBT program. But so far that, that's all we have guys. Now, in addition to that, we have some news regarding an EBT expansion. The state of Illinois is having a bit of a hunger issue happening right now and has become worse since the pandemic started. The state recently requested to expand its eligibility for the program to offer additional food support. Well, that was approved and Governor J.B. Pritzker announced that one million children across Illinois will receive additional food stamp benefits. Eligible children across the state will receive these benefits on a brand new EBT card mailed directly to their homes. Each child will be receiving around $110 per month in additional aid as an effort to end hunger for all of those in Illinois. These benefits will start in March. Governor Pritz Kerr mentioned in a statement, today we move another step closer to ending hunger for all of Illinois with a benefits program that will support approximately 1 million children across our state. Starting next month, eligible families across Illinois can be on the lookout for a benefits card in the mail to provide additional federally funded food benefits for their children. I'm excited to announce that we'll be able to serve about 200,000 more children who have previously received this support, each with a larger daily benefit than in the past. My administration is proud to secure more federal funding for Illinois to make this expansion possible. Well, thank you, Governor. Now, can you call all the other governors in other states and influence them to do the same? It would really mean a lot, Governor. But yes, congrats to those who live in Illinois. They said that you do not have to apply for this round of PEBT benefits. It will happen automatically within the next few weeks. Moving on, now there appears to be some new food stamp requirements that have been added that might change the amount of people that receive this benefit. But luckily this might only affect those who live in Iowa. It looks like the Senate has passed a previous bill that adds some new requirements for food stamps that would mean fewer people would actually receive them. This appears to be the people that need to provide proof of verification to continue to receive these benefits. The new verification steps will include verification of the amount of money that they receive, or reviewing participants' household assets, as well as using computer systems to conduct automatic eligibility checks on other assistance programs, which would include Medicaid. Senate Republicans are supporting this idea, and they say that it would streamline the process as well as reduce fraud in this state. But on the other hand, Democrats said that this measure might hurt people more who are seeking food assistance. The Senate passed this bill on a 30 to 18 party vote on Tuesday. This is very troubling as Iowa House is controlled by the Republicans and they are working towards welfare reform. Most efforts in the past have failed, but concerning as this measure has actually passed. Those in Iowa don't forget to get out and vote during the next election. They are trying to make it hard for struggling families to stay on SNAP food stamp benefits. They are adding more checks and balances that would make it harder to sign up for these benefits and also make it hard to actually stay on them as well. The Senate bill is in the Senate file 389 and I will also post a link in the description so that you can check that out. And last but not least, there is some new census data out that shows about 30 million households reported periods of not having enough food to eat in January, which is why President Biden is taking the necessary steps to help hunger across the United States by allowing the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, to provide more funding for the program. About one in seven parents in December said that children didn't have enough food to eat and they lacked the resources to buy more food. Families are facing extreme financial hardship right now and children around the country are facing hunger more high higher than ever before. A lot of people should be receiving additional food stamp benefits on their EBT cards. Most people will receive an additional 15% increase, but there have been reports of people receiving much less than that. I want to remind you and everyone on this video that you need to be checking your EBT cards. Sometimes they are distributing the additional funds as a separate payment to your cards. So make sure that you pay attention to those. 
We also hope to see some additional measures done in the President Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus package. As more relief aid is needed right now and the additional increase needs to be extended well past the June mark. We will continue to watch this news as it develops and I promise to keep you guys posted. Now, if you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask them down below. I tend to respond to each and every comment. Also, if you receive any value in this information today or found it to be useful, be sure to hit the like button for me. It definitely helps out a lot and it tells YouTube to share this video with others. And if you know someone that could use this information, be sure to share that with them as well. And feel free to share it on your Facebook page, your Twitter page, and your MySpace page. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button for me so that you can be a part of this community. And hit the notification bell to be notified of each new video. Again, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.